Thinking about taking antidepressants, but worried you'll be stuck on them forever? I get it, it's a pretty common fear. But here's the thing, taking antidepressants isn't always a lifetime commitment. For many people, they're just a tool to help you get through a rough patch, not something you'll need to take forever. Hi everyone, my name is Matthias Hartman. I'm a board certified psychiatric physician assistant and I make videos on how to improve your mood. In this video, we're gonna break down this fear of taking antidepressants, break down how long people usually stay on these medications, and share some signs that it might be time to stop. All right, let's clear this up first. Taking antidepressants doesn't mean you're signing a contract to take them forever. It's not like joining a gym where you pay a membership and end up feeling guilty if you don't use it. For many people, antidepressants are used for a specific period of time until their symptoms stabilize. Think of it like a cast for a broken arm. Once the arm heals, you can take off the cast. Antidepressants are kind of the same. Once your brain's in a better place, you might not need them anymore. For a single episode of depression, most people stay on medication about six months to a year after their symptoms improve. And that's it. This time period helps prevent relapse while your brain recovers. Now, if you've had a few depression episodes, the treatment can be a little longer. But again, the goal is to get you to a point where medication isn't necessary. Let's talk about the difference between having one depression episodes and multiple. If you've only had one depression episode, congrats. You have better odds of treatment working for you and achieving remission, which means your symptoms basically go away and you feel back to normal. But for people with recurrent depression, meaning more than one episode, the risk of more episodes happening and the treatments not being as effective increases. In fact, about half of people with one depression episode will experience at least another depression episode sometime within their life. But even if you have recurrent depression, it doesn't mean you're stuck on medication forever. It just means you might have to continue the medication for a bit longer. Now the million dollar question, how long do you have to stay on antidepressants? Well, the answer is, it depends. For a single episode of depression, experts recommend staying on the medication for at least six months to a year after the point of which you're feeling back to normal and you're feeling better. This gives your brain enough time to stabilize and helps prevent you sliding back into a depression. But for recurrent depression, sometimes the length of treatment can be a little longer. What's usually recommended is the length of time that the depression lasted for. That being said, people with treatment-resistant depression, which means by definition they failed two antidepressant trials, Sometimes the recommendation is to continue antidepressants forever, for life. But of course it depends on a case by case basis. So how do you know when it's time to start thinking about getting off of antidepressants? Well, there are things to look for called good prognostic indicators, which means signs that you're doing well. If you've had a long stretch of feeling well without significant mood dips, that's a good sign. Or if your mood remains doing well with the treatment, even with all of life's curveballs being thrown at you, that's a good sign as well. But hold up, even if you're doing a lot better, that's not a sign to stop the meds immediately. Coming off of meds should always be done gradually with a taper and done together with your medical provider to prevent relapse and withdrawal symptoms. You can think of it like a party. You don't just wanna disappear out of nowhere and have people wondering where you're at. Another important thing to know is that antidepressants are just one piece of the puzzle. Think of them as your sidekick, not the whole superhero. Along with meds, therapy, like cognitive behavioral therapy, can help challenge those negative thoughts. It's also important to fix imbalances, like vitamin D deficiency, B12 deficiency, folate deficiency, check your thyroid. And let's not forget about lifestyle changes exercise, sleep, making sure you're eating properly. They all work together to give you the best shot at feeling well long term. Let's talk about a fear a lot of people have, getting hooked on antidepressants. But here's the deal, antidepressants don't work like addictive drugs. They don't give you a high and you're not gonna end up wandering the streets looking to score an antidepressant prescription. They work by balancing certain brain chemicals, like serotonin and norepinephrine. So no need to worry about joining the Antidepressants Anonymous group in the future. All right, so the takeaway is simple. Don't be afraid to take antidepressants if you need them. They're not something you can get hooked on. They're a tool to help you feel better while your brain needs a little extra support. And with the right plan, you'll know when it's time to come off them safely. Subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more videos on how to improve your mood. If you enjoyed this video, you might like this video next 
on six things to stop doing to improve your mood.